Fibromyalgia, what is that? Fibromyalgia is not at this moment known to be an autoimmune disease, but it's within the field of rheumatology because often it involves fatigue and very diffuse body aches, and people are concerned that they might have other kinds of more widespread autoimmune disease. So the rheumatologist is usually the one to make that diagnosis. It's not an inflammatory condition, but probably more of a condition thought to be related to a sleep disorder. And the more that we learn about fibromyalgia and the more studies that are done, we learn that people who have it have disturbed sleep patterns and also have different pain thresholds in the brain. So some sort of small stimulus would trigger pain in a patient with fibromyalgia before it would in a patient who does not have fibromyalgia. And the sleep issue comes into play with children especially. It's a, more of a disease of teenagers related to being very busy, sometimes stressed, having a lot on their minds and a lot of responsibilities and lots of activities and maybe very good things, but sometimes these teenagers are overwhelmed and they don't sleep well. And after a few days of having a very poor quality of sleep, they start to be very achy. They're prone to stomach aches, they get headaches very easily, and this all makes them feel even worse. And then because they don't feel well, they don't sleep well. And it's not necessarily related to number of hours. I have many patients who tell me they sleep, they could sleep for 12 hours, but they still feel tired, they still feel achy. And that's because it's not necessarily how long you sleep, but how well you sleep. And so we can do some very simple things to try to diagnose it based on physical exam. And then we can do some very simple things to try to make it better. And most of them don't even involve medication. It really involves trying to help with sleep habits to get better sleep, trying to help relieve some stress. And sometimes it's as simple as trying to work out which activities are really most important for kids, not to overwhelm them every day of the week. Is there any drug that they use to treat it? There are some medications. We always prefer to hold those until the end and to try to work on changing habits first so that you don't have to rely on taking a pill. Now, this is a mixed blessing in some sense because truthfully, for teenagers, they'd rather